I taught students a little while ago how to do this on a field course and actually I told them how to do it on April Fool's Day and they didn't believe a word of what I was saying, they were sure I was winding them up. But this is genuinely a good way to measure the, estimate the height of a tree. So you need a stick that's exactly the length from your eyes to your thumb holding your arm out straight, so about to there. For me, so that's a perfect length stick. And then you hold your stick out at arm's length. Have I got a big brown spot of mud on my face now? You hold your stick out at arm's length, holding your arm straight, and you line up so the bottom of the stick and the top of the tree are about the same. So back away here. From the bottom of the tree to the top of the tree, you match it up with the length of the stick, so they're exactly the same. If you want to know the height of the tree, you measure from your feet to the bottom of the tree, and that gives you an estimate of the height of the tree. It's not the only technique you can use. Yeah. It's, it's a good way of estimating though if you've got no other equipment and sticks which are readily available in your local woodland. The other one you can use, and this is the more technical technique. Ah, right, this is where I use real equipment. The other technique you can use is to use a clinometer that measures the angle. And so you stand a fixed distance from the tree and looking through the hole you work out the angle from the bottom of the tree to the top of the tree and how far away you're standing from the tree and you can use trigonometry and that's slightly more accurate but needs a device to do it.